I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on trigonometric functions. The question here is, f of x is equal to a plus 4 sine bx, where x is between 0 degrees to 360 degrees. The maximum value of this function is 6 and the period is given to us as 72 degrees. You need to answer these three questions. Part A. Write the value of a and b. b find range of f and c is to sketch the graph of the function given to you okay so let's rewrite the equation which is f of x is equals to a plus 4 sine of bx right we are given the maximum is 6 and the period is 72 now the maximum is what Maximum value is equal to the axis plus amplitude. Correct. So the maximum value of 6 should be equal to the axis value is given to us as A here, right? Plus the amplitude is given to us as 4. So this 4, which you see is the amplitude, is 4. So from the, let me just show you this, where 4 is the amplitude. Correct? Coefficient of sine bx, that is amplitude. So we get from here, axis. So we can do 6 minus 4 is equals to axis. So the value of a is 2. Is that clear to you? Now, how do we find B? To find B, we know the time period is 72. So, time period is 72 and this time period is equal to, in degrees, 360 degrees divided by B, right? So, cross multiplication can help figure out what B is, right? So, we can find what B is. B is 360 degrees divided by 72, right? So when you divide 72 into 360, what do you get? We get 5, correct? So 5 times 2 is 10, 35 ones. So B is 5. So we now know what this particular equation is. So let me rewrite the equation. So the equation for us is f of x is equal to a is 2, right? Plus 4 sine of 5x okay now that becomes your equation we need to sketch graph of this this function f of x now to sketch graph of this within a period of 0 to 360 right that is the given so we, let's just draw the axis uh, this is the y axis for us now it shifts two units up and then we have amplitude of 4. So basically, uh, let me just uh, take y along this direction, correct? The axis is 2. So let us say uh, this is 2, 4. Let's say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Oh, no, 6 is the maximum, right? Let's go negative also. 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, when we say that uh, the axis is 2, it basically means what? So, 1, 2. So, we'll draw a line here showing the axis, principal axis for the sine graph. Is it okay? So, this is at 2. Now, amplitude is 4. That means 4 units above, right? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, it'll be right there. So let me sketch a dotted line there just to indicate that we have to go up to so two three four five six that i should have written six here right so i'm just that is corresponding to our maximum minimum will also be four units down one two three four which will be at minus two right so these dotted lines only indicate that we have a sine function touching maximum and minimum. 
Now, what is 5? 5 basically reflects the time period and also tells you that within 0 to 360, we have 5 waves, right? So, we have 5 waves in this interval, 0 degrees to 360 degrees. That is what this value of k represents, correct? So, we can sketch a sine function from the given information and get the result. Since the space is very less here, I will just sketch a wave here and then label later, right? So, we have one wave going like this. Do you see that? One wave and then second. third, fourth. So, one wave completes, this is my first wave, right? Then second, do you see that? So, second, then this is third, do you see? So we have less space here, fourth, and I'll squeeze in the fifth one also. So, we are from here, one wave, two waves, three waves, four waves, and then the fifth wave up to this point, correct? So, let me just uh, switch the paper slightly on the left side to show you uh, the wave now. So, we have five different waves and that is how you're going to sketch the given function, right? So, let me uh, mention the time period here. So, this will be 360. Do you see that? This will be 360 degrees. And each cycle each cycle here will get completed in 72 right 72 degrees so so these are multiples of 72 all these are multiples of 72 perfect so this is 2 times 72 that is 144 this is 3 times 72 3 times 2 is 6 2 1 6 right 4 times 74 which is 72 8 and 4 times 7 is again 20, um, 28 so 288 and 360. So those are your time periods. And on the vertical axis, we have the uh, value maximum being 6, minimum being minus 2. Is that clear to you? So that is how we could sketch our function. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? Now, uh, as a question for you, you may write range for the function. Right, which is from you can see minus two to six, perfect. So that could be a, an, a, any additional question based on this topic, or we might just give you some angle and say what will be the value of f of x. Uh, question B could be what is f of hundred? Right, you may use calculator, substitute hundred here and calculate your value. Perfect. So that is uh, how we could ask more questions based on this concept. I hope it is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to me, my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.